Yeah, so just waking up on a regular morning, pretty much Monday through Thursday, it's gonna start early. Wake up at about 4.55 uh, and almost don't have to set an alarm anymore. Like my body will get me up even on a day where I could sleep to 5.25 or 5.35. It, it's like five minutes before my alarm goes up, automatically wake up. I come to work and I, I love music, but I keep it off just to kind of get my mind right when we're starting either in the weight room or starting to go through my day on things that I have to get done. Um, a day like today, we have to start with a lot of energy off the bat because we're practicing um, on the field at 6.20. Go pop on the lights. Walk out, it's still a peaceful time because it's quiet, the field's dark, it's, it's, it's black outside. And walk up through the stadium. Um, and it, it's kind of a cool deal. I'm a big visual guy. I just visualize that thing being packed out. Pretty good uh, moment right here is just it's about as peaceful as it gets. The calm before the storm, and it's a good day. It's a good morning. Get a get a practice out of the heat and uh, get some good quality work done. But really really peaceful right now come inside usually it doesn't matter if I get here at 5 30 or 5 um, and I've, I'll sometimes I'll get here earlier our defensive coordinator he's already in the office and that's one of my childhood best friends is Clint Fuller and that guy gets up here at 4 4 30 every day I mean and he's he's rocking and rolling um, other coaches get up here pretty early and are getting laundry out I come into the office in here um, get my practice plan that I did the day before, look it over, check my emails, make sure I get some things sent if somebody hit me up late last night. Um, and then we go in and we're about ready to start. Our coaches here do a really good job of uh, 10 minutes before practice starts. Like we're not in the office visiting and hanging out with each other. We can stay here late and we can do that, but our job is to connect with kids. So our coaches, you'll see them in the locker room. They're gonna be hanging out, walking around, just visiting with kids when they get here. When they get here early in the morning, encouraging them, joking with them, having some downtime. Um, same thing in the afternoon. If they had a bad day at school or something, you can kind of head off some problems or, or just tell them, hey, you're gonna leave that behind and have a really good hour and a half, um, you know, or two hours, two and a half hours, however long we're gonna be here. We're, we're just gonna leave it for a little bit and then we can deal with some problems later if they need to visit you, you hang around after and you visit but it's just a really good time to connect I'm ready. These shoes are just soaked and I can't bring some stuff. Oh, yeah. <laughs> They're wet? I mean, yes. I'm gonna start drying them out. What was it from? Huh? Just the sweat. Yeah. Sweat. Yeah. Hey, what? I'm gonna have to start taking them home. You know what you put in them to get it out? Newspaper. Wad up newspapers, stick them in. That's what we did in college. My dad used to bring in newspapers and you pull them out and it absorbs all that stuff. Go get it. When we call everybody up, our kids, they know our structure. They know what we're about to go do, and they know the expectation for how we're going to do it, that we're going to be tedious in our stretches and all that. But we never just we never just go out to practice. I mean, every time we go out, I'm going to take two minutes, three minutes um, on our practice plan. It just says, JG, address the team, and I'll – try to be proactive with some issues that we've been having and head those off and or talk about growth um, or give them something inspiring and today was a yeah, good day no for idea. that. It's imperative with us shortening down practice how much you have to go full tilt to be conditioned for the game because it's, it's going to be long next Friday and you're not going to want to come off the field you're going to be huffing and puffing and you guys that go run that hill you better be killing that thing. You better be exhausting yourself where you're almost gonna throw up. 
so you can stay out on that football field on Friday night. But these are seven periods without pads. We need to make sure we're taking full advantage today. This needs to be the best practice of the year. And I know one thing, it's going to be about 40 degrees cooler than 110 heat index, right? Yes, so it's going to be hype from the get-go. We are going, we're going defense first today. Then we'll go offense. Let's have a perfect day. Let's go get it. Let's go. Let's go. the best coaching staff in the state and I'm not just saying that like they all love us they're like they're not just making us good football players but they're also making us into you know extremely good young men and I think that's what impacted us the most and no matter win or lose we're getting uh, led and getting taught in the right direction you know when, we, when coach Gibson got here I can't thank him enough for the culture he's built because we would not be successful without him and he's just a great man and a great uh, role model for us to look up to and, and for us to watch and uh, help us grow. There are five minute periods. The first seven periods are gonna be a little slow for me. I'm walking around, watch them on defense, then we flip to O. But that's blinking right there. So when we hit seven, we flip offense to defense. And you're going a little bit more hype for me. These guys are on point though. I beat him, I keep on going. Hey. Right there. Yeah. Yeah. Quick. Quick move. Good. 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 Here we go. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. Hey. We get empty. We should be yelling empty, 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 empty. Okay, but it's got to be empty. One time we called empty and it was trips. Right? If there's a back in the back, then obviously not empty. These seniors, they, they, right. they only have five right. games out there left. And, uh, we play five home games and five away games, and it's gonna go fast and how fast it's gonna go. And, um, they've been handling it great so far, but to make sure that A, we're cherishing the moments, and B, we're showing gratitude, you know, for people along the way, our parents who help us out a lot and, and get us to these practices and take some extra time with them. Or um, from that part, you know, you hit on practice, how they did that day, maybe something they did really well, something they need to correct. Um, and then get them ready for the school day. Tell them, man, make sure you're acting right in class. Make sure you have zero discipline issues in the hallways. Show gratitude to your teachers. Be the uh, best in the state. Three. Break One, out. Two, three, three. And then come back in here, see if I got any calls or texts that I need to connect with anyone. Um, go shower and, and start getting through the tedious stuff. And there's paperwork to do, emails to get back with. Go up to the school, uh, connect with the principal, you know, mid morning and make sure there's not any issues going on or something that I need to be aware of and something that we could head off and be proactive. Sometimes they'll praise kids. I've got a picture on the whiteboard back there with a young man who um, helped a mom with her two kids out of a parking lot and helps them to function. And she takes a picture with her kid and our boy, and she's like, I was. I mean, he could have just walked right past and he helps me pick up my kids and they're two two-year-old toddlers. And and the coolest thing to me is like it's, we get those and we put them up on the board as examples of how we can help grow our community and school and make an impact, you know, big into growth and impact. The afternoon session on a day where we practice in the morning, they're, the varsity guys are gonna go lift in the weight room, go full tilt, get stronger. Um, our JV and freshmen don't come in the morning on Wednesdays. So they're going to go out here and get like game-like situation. They're gonna, there's going to be a bunch of energy. We got our pups out there uh, hopping up and down, jumping up and down, and it, that'll be a game-like experience. It'll be different than our practices because our freshmen and JV are going off and they're trying to you know, they're trying to beat each other and the coaches are getting animated with them, but that's a, that's a really fun part of the day on a Wednesday.
Wednesday we stay here really late. I mean, kids don't get out till after six o'clock. So on Wednesday, they're out of here when school ends at 3.40 because we started before school. They came back and they got their weight session and now they can go be kids. They can go to a, get a haircut, go to a doctor's appointment still at 3.45 if they have one. Um, go do homework, go, go take a walk with their girlfriend in 110 heat index. That's not gonna be too fun. Maybe go catch a movie with her. Um, and then especially on Wednesday, try to, try to go to church, get to church um six o'clock so they have a couple hours to go hang out or the whole evening to to kind of start getting recovered because we put in such a hard week work week up to that point and we're getting closer to the game um but the day's not over we our high school coaches who have been grinding since early that morning and teaching all day and then come back and going with the high school kids again and now we're going to go see the future and uh and go mess around with the babies and our babies are seventh and eighth grade football players so we go over to the middle school and like today's gonna be their first day in pads they they, they went through all the culture stuff last week didn't even practice how we're gonna behave how we're gonna get dressed how we're gonna do all that stuff we're looking for the best encouragers the best attitudes the best hustlers guys that take coaching guys that don't drop their head okay that's what we're looking for today that's what you guys got to give us Yesterday and Monday, they went through practices, you know, with, with their helmets and shell, and today they get to go full tilt, and um, there'll be some pillow fighting out there at times, and there'll be some, some really good stuff, but we're just there to connect, inspire, start building relationships at a young age, and get those guys fired up and on fire for football. My son's on that team, so I do get to take my son home. That's the that's the one day of the week where I get to see him in the evening. Monday and Tuesday, not as much. And and Thursday, we have JV games, and he has middle school games, so I do get to go watch him play. Um, Friday, we have games, but Wednesday is a day I can take him home, and he'll he'll ask me, you know, man, how'd I do, Dad? And um, and so that that's pretty cool. Hey, Chick Fil A's got to play him. Go, 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 go. Hey, that's a good job. We rejuvenate and we treat Sunday like it's supposed to be treat. Try to get away from it and you're you're reinvigorated and then boom you come back Monday and that guy who's going seven days a week on his 90th day, he hadn't had a reset and we got a reset and we're freaking going full tilt on Monday. So we get our work in and our schedule just told you that. I mean, we're working 13, 15 hour days, um, but we're getting our work in those other six days a week and we're gonna recharge on Sunday and be with our families and get to go to church and not have to rush through it. So I think we're a little bit different than a lot of schools in that respect. And there's some there's some other ones that don't do it. And I, I think it's the way to go, but done it both ways. That's just how we do it here.